doesn't fit as well but at least i have a coat over it so a jacket over it is gonna be it's gonna look a little bit smoother but hey yeah nirvana i uh i have a thing for rock you know i've always had something you know because back when when i used to back when i opened my spotify account, like in 20 in 2017 i used to listen to a lot of green day a lot of a lot of Green Day, yeah, My Chemical Romance and all that stuff. I'm kind of listening to that again now, four years later. But, um, yeah, they're just it's just cool. It's just a cool groove, and it's so much different than hip-hop. I think I've talked about how one of my friends, he was having an argument with someone about, well, like, what's better, hip-hop or rock? And uh, I, wouldn't, I, wouldn't, I don't like having those arguments because they're, so, they're just two different genres, you know? It's just different, you know? Once mostly electric, right? And rock is still, you know, you, you still need your electric guitars. You, you still need your bass, your drums, and all that stuff is more physical than, you know, in a computer and stuff. But it's, it has to, it's, it's different, you know, uh, plus and minuses, lyricism for rap, or, you know, uh, just, it's, it's, it's just interesting, you know? And the one thing that I like about rock or rock bands in general is that, you know, learning you know like like uh knowing a little bit how and how to you know not how to make a a, a bass line but you know to understand how hard it is to make a bass line or like or, or a you know a, gu a guitar rift or whatever you know i'm always like how the fuck like how the fuck does this flea remember all those lines you know what i'm saying like all those uh different uh you know all those different bass lines all those different notes for each song and then i'm like you know a band that's just, you know, four or five or three different artists, you know, kind of just colliding with each other, you know what I'm saying? Like, when you, let me explain, like, for example, when you hear an Ed Sheeran song, song you know, like, he knows all of his lyrics, you know, because his instrument, is, apart from the guitar, is his voice. In the case of Flea, he doesn't have to remember the lyrics, you know what I'm saying? Like, the, 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 the vocalist has to remember them. He doesn't have to. He has to remember his, his bass line, you know? And in the case of Nirvana, uh, Nova Selig has to learn the bass lines. The drummer, uh, Goal, Dave Goal, uh, he has to remember the, the guitar, the, 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 the drum beat, right? And uh, it's just interesting to think about. You know, like, I don't know if that made sense, but it's just like, you know, the voice, a guitar, a bass, a drums, piano, all those things are different instruments. And in a band, they all just collide with each other, you know what I'm saying? They all have, like, the same groove, the same, you know, time frame, the same, you know, uh, yeah, just, 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 you know, sound in a way, you know, it's, it's, it's interesting to think about, you know, it's just a collection, a mixture of things, but yeah, man, Nirvana, fuck me, man, this is a, this is a, this is a great band, this is one of my all-time favorite bands, honestly, Kurt Cobain, it's an immense, amazing lyricist, man, it's so crazy to think that he killed himself, you know? Like, I didn't want to start off by saying that, but I kind of have to address it somehow. Um, it's just weird, you know? Like, I haven't really gone into, like, conspiracy theories or anything, you know? Because it's just, I just honestly don't really have the time and shit. And it's just, it's it's, it's scary to think about. It's pretty disturbing, you know? Like, the, the I don't know. I'm not going to say anything, you know? You can look up the, the conspiracy theories if you want. The fact that the fact that matter is that he's dead, sadly at the at the age of twenty seven, and um, yeah, he definitely he definitely left a massive impact on you know not only like you know the, the grunge sound but just music in general, you know like he ruled the nineties and uh, his music is still being played a lot now, especially now that rock is kind of making a comeback in the in the early twenty twenty so. You know, rest in peace to the homie, man. Rest in peace to rest in peace to Kurt. But um, the lyrics, man, the lyrics are dark, bro. Like I gotta put out these couple of songs, bro. Like Polly, man. Like I didn't like I've like I've heard that song multiple times. I always like the the I like the song, right? I never really paid attention to the lyrics. But then I I looked them up once. You know, so I watched a, a video by Polyfoam. I think that's a YouTube channel. Uh, I might link. I'm gonna put like the icon icon if you wanna if you wanna watch that. It's a very interesting episode. Um, very very interesting video actually. And he talks about how Polly is just a a song about a girl getting raped, 
from the perspective of the rapist. You know what I'm saying? Of course, Kurt didn't rape anyone. This is just a, a story that actually happened, but, you know, none of the members from Nirvana were related to this thing, but, you know, they just talked about it. And, uh, you know, they, that's not, you know, like that's a topic that, you know, Nirvana is kind of comfortable with discussing, I guess. You know, like Kurt was a known feminist. You know, he spoke out about, uh, you know, um, how the fuck do you say it? inequalities and stuff? You know, he has a song on In Utero, the the 1993 album called Rape Me, which was is just way more violent, way more direct. You know, like that song is like shit. Um, the song is good. Rape Me is good, but I think I said raping. <laughs> Rape Me, the song by Nirvana. It, it has a very cool guitar line, but the lyrics are dodgy bro the lyrics are heavy as fuck and uh that's what you expect from 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 nirvana you know like what other bands do that you know like what other bands like talk about like that dark stuff you know i'm not really a, a rock and roll fan there's definitely a lot that I do but mainstream like this i don't know hotel california by the eagles that's kind of here and then you know kind of yeah, yeah yeah i guess i guess that 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 that's kind of a uh, one of them, you know. What I'm saying Hotel California about how you know selling your soul to the devil and uh, something like that. It's interesting. It's a cool song as well. But uh, yeah, man, uh, smells like Teen Spirit, bro. Smells like Teen Spirit, bro. That song is incredible, man. Like that's a that's a rock anthem right there, man. Like there's not that many like them. You know what I'm saying? Like what you have. Queen songs, right? You have the dun 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 dun, and uh, that that song, right? We will rock you, and you got a couple. You got black back in black by ACDC. You got Sweet Child of Mine. You got Sweet Home Alabama. Like you have all those songs, and Spells Like Teen Spirit has to be on that list as well. Like it's such a it's such a banger, man. Like I I don't even know how I how I would have reacted to those songs back in the but if I was alive in the nineties, bro, if I was like if that shit came out today, bro, who knows, man? That shit was that shit was hard, man. Like great song, great great vibes. This is one of the albums that I would get on vinyl. Definitely a uh, you know, that's that's just a song that's just an album that I would love to have, you know, instead of just, you know, renting it on Spotify basically. But um yeah, man. Let's talk about let's talk about my take homes, man. For the people that don't know, the take homes are the songs that are not particularly the most lyrical from the album, but they're the songs that are the most enjoyable songs, right? And the songs that you can listen to at a party, when you're at the gym, when you're at your house, wherever, and uh, you can just have a good time and you don't really have to pay attention to the lyrics. You just kind of like, you know, get a feeling of it. It's easy to get, you know, it's a, it's it's a easy to grow on you. And uh, yeah, it's just it's just a vibe. So with that said, the take homes are uh, smells like Teen Spirit, Come as You Are, and uh, Lithium Man. I really did not want to go with those songs because those are like the most popular songs. But what can I say, man? Like they're just too good. You know, like if you if you want, you know, like a deep cut. I like. Uh, oof. Okay. You can put Smells Like Teen Spirit, Lithium, and Lounge Act just because I love the bass line from that song. You can do that if you want, you know. But generally, you, you just can't go wrong with these songs, man. Uh, this is one of the, those albums that just has uh, most of the tracks. Not all of them. Most of them are good or, you know, good to great. Almost excellent tracks, man. This It's pretty flawless around here, man. <laughs> The only two songs that I have a problem with, which are which are my take homes, take outs, which for the people that don't, that don't know, you can read the description or you can just hear me out. Those are the songs that I just don't like. They're maybe the most forgettable or songs that I just don't like off of this record. And uh, sadly, this this Nevermind by Nirvana has has two of them. It got Territorial Pissings and Endless Nameless, the last one. Uh I would give it to Territorial Pissings, but I feel like that's just because I just don't really like Nirvana or Kurt's voice in the track. Like, I just don't. Like, it doesn't seem like a like a hard rock or heavy rock or heavy metal song. That's kind of like a heavy metal song, I think. I'm not sure. 
but it's definitely like you know fast paced and you know grungy i guess i don't know uh, but i just don't really like that you know i guess there's some people that would like it but i just don't enjoy it myself and then the case of endless nameless the first half is great you know the the first the the, the first half is just a, a typical nirvana song not the greatest but it's just it's good it's good to play in the background but then the second half is just a mess i feel like you know so personally i would take it a territorial pissings but uh endless nameless since it's six minutes long kind of taste it you know i'm gonna go with the endless nameless as the takeouts okay that's what i would go for and the lyrical liverpool for the people that i don't know this is the song that is the most lyrical it might not have the best flow but it just has the best lyrics and it kind of you know in some cases kind of gives you like the, the overall idea or the sound of the album right so in the case of to pimp a butterfly by kendrick lamar how much a dollar cost because this and that for the people that know uh yeah <laughs> in this case i would go with uh something in the way man uh something in the way or poly one of the two man something in the way is about how uh kirk Cobain when he was like i believe like my age like 16 maybe maybe 17 uh, he lived under a bridge because he uh, he got kicked out of his house. He lived he lived with his friend for a couple of months, but then he got kicked out, and uh, yeah, that was that was rough. And uh, it's also the background song for one of the DC movies, one of the new ones, uh, Batman, I believe. It has that song in the background. I, I put it out. I was like, holy shit, yeah, something in the way. So uh, for the awards for today, so you. For the people that, you know, just want to be here for Nirvana, you can get the fuck out if you want. <laughs> the the take-homes are Smells Like Teen Spirit, Come As You Are, and Lithium. The, the take-out is Endless, Nameless, and the Lyrical Liverpool is Something In The Way. That's it, man. The podcast is available on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Breakers, Pocket Cast, Radio Public, Anchor, and starting next week, it will be available on SoundCloud. Only new episodes, okay? You can also catch the clips in my YouTube channel. Link in bio. Okay, bye.